Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new trick that's related to my um, widows on macro of how to group and ungroup rows or group and ungroup specific rows with macro. So actually the question that I got from Kalina is that, so she is happy with the code, which I also shared in my description, but she wants to do exactly the same thing for multiple tabs. And she's wondering if there's a macro that can help us to do that and the answer is yes and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so um, so here is the sample data that we have and the scenario here, uh, just for simplicity, I have only four tabs here. Um, and what I want to do is that I have one button for group, um, column C and D and one button for um, ungroup column C and D. So my intention is that once I click this group, it's not going to only um, group those two columns, but it's going to group actually the columns for those two tabs or actually as many tabs as we want. And then the same thing if we go for the ungroup column. So, okay, as usual, I'm going to show you the um, code which you um, in the screen and I'm going to show you the logic behind it, but don't worry about copying it because I'm going to paste it in, into the description. So you can just copy and paste after you understand them and of course customize for your needs. Okay, so let's work on the group um, columns first. So I named it group specific column all sheets, which means that it's going to be for all the sheets and then it's going to be, which means that it's actually going to use a loop function in macro, which is very easy as you see, it's only like four lines of code, five lines of code. Um, okay, so what we need to do is that uh, we first need to define um, an integer, which I define as I can be A, B, C, D, F, G. I define it as integer. So that's an element in macro. And then I have a comment here, which you can see is in green, which is just explaining to you what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm saying in macro for I equals one to four my sheets, my corresponding sheets will do the following action. And after doing those following actions, I will move to the next I, which can be two, for example, which means that my it will work the same line of codes will work on my sheet number two, number three, number four, as many as you define. So um, the code that we have here is that we have four sheets um, and I actually want to do the same action for the four sheets. So for i equals one, two, four, my sheets, my sheets number one, um, will group my columns C and D. And now of course you can group up, um, any specific columns or rows um, that you want, which is similar to what we did in this macro. Um, and you can see this is how you can do that with specific rows or columns. So I'm not going to repeat that here. And then after you do that, um, make sure you have the outline level. Uh, which means that it's only going to show uh, the top line outline, which means that those two columns are actually going to be hidden. So after you do that, go to the next sheet and then go to the next sheet and go to the next sheet until it goes four. Okay, so now let's click on this, um, on this code, or alternatively, you can have this button there here, which you can do from developer and then insert, and then you, cr you can create this uh, control button. And then after you create it, you can add the text here and then go assign macro and assign what we just created, which is group specific columns for all sheets. Okay. So now, uh, it's set up. So let's click on it. Okay. So it actually grouped it, uh, column C and D for the sheet number one, sheet number two, sheet number three, and sheet number four. So that's how you can do it. And then the same thing, actually, if we go to the ungroup, um, it's very similar. Um, you name it, uh, you still define the integer and then you define the sheets that you want to apply this line of codes. You first make the, um, co uh, the columns to all show, which is like showing level no number two, and then you ungroup the specific columns that you need and then you go to the next one. So um, we actually did a similar thing. We want to assign our macro to this button and then now we click on it and then here we go. So it's ungrouped, ungrouped, ungrouped. 
Okay, cool. So one more nuances to this is that, um, for example, um, in my sheet, there's one tab that's instruction for admin, which is actually not a data sheet. And I, actually, I do not need to group or ungroup on this um, sp specific sheet. So how do I ex um, exclude it? So to exclude that, it's actually easy. You just make sure that you change uh, your sheet uh, reference correctly. So for example, let's say I only want to do the loop function in sheet number one, two, three. So I just change it to one, two, three, sheet one, two, three, um, save it. And then let's group it. So it's working on sheet number one, number two, and number three, but not number four. So it's not it's not grouping the sheets that we don't want them to group. And then it's the same for ungroup. It's ungrouped, ungrouped, ungrouped. Nothing happened. Okay. So basically, this is the really simple codes that um, you can use for doing a loop function for doing the same uh, action for all the sheets in your um, um, Excel spreadsheets. Um, that's all that I want to share today. I hope that is helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.